Hello friends, welcome into the Cowboys Report presented by BetDSI, the internet's number one sportsbook. I am your host Tom Downey, here with the latest look at the Cowboys playoff picture. They've not clinched yet, we'll break down all the different scenarios here for you. So here's your overall NFC playoff picture, the Saints and the Rams and Bears, those teams are in, they've clinched their division. The other three spots, those ones are at least for now still up for grabs. Now the Cowboys remain in a win and in scenario with two games coming up that they should be able to win. But then again, they look pretty bad against the Indianapolis Colts. The Eagles and Redskins who won this week, well, they still remain alive in the NFC East. Here are your current NFC East standings. The Cowboys at eight and six. And remember, it's really a one and a half game lead. They will win the tiebreakers. That's why their bet DS odds are over th minus 3,000, which is a heavy, heavy, heavy betting favorite right now for the Cowboys, if they just win one game, they are in. Now, the Cowboys, I still think, are going when I know a lot of people are panicking after a very bad showing against the Colts, but the bet DSI odds, I think, back this up. If the Cowboys are going to win the NFC East and you want to bet on it, you have to risk $33.33 .33 just to win one buck. That's how good of chances the Cowboys have of making the NFC East, or winning the NFC East here, and making the playoffs. I think they are in fantastic shape. Now, BetDSI is today's sponsor, so why don't you go check them out if you want to bet on the Cowboys. It's a safe bet, by the way. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code COWBOYS120 gets you a 120% deposit bonus. And once you guys get signed up, DM us on Twitter at Chatsports. We'll hook you guys up with a Cowboys jersey. Now, we do have a pretty good amount of supply here, but inventory is limited, and they're going pretty quickly. So you better get in on it now while you still can before it's Christmas time and the holiday season wraps up. Chatsports.com slash bet, promo code Cowboys120. A, get you a 120% deposit bonus. So you put down 50 bucks, you're going to get 64 free to bet with. And a Cowboys jersey once you DM us on Twitter at Chatsports. It is the best deal out there this holiday season, folks. Now let's talk some more now about the Cowboys and their clinching scenarios. The simplest one remains the NFC East. Three different routes they can get it. Number one, just win a game. That is all the Cowboys have to do. Two games left, I would imagine they're going to win at least one of those. They can also get a tie, have the Eagles lose or tie, and the Redskins lose or tie, or if you want to go not so complicated, just find a way for the Eagles and the Redskins to lose, one of which will happen when they play in Week 17. So the Cowboys schedule, let's, let's take it with the simplest route first, you know? Win a game. You're home against the Bucks. you are at the Giants. If you can't win those games, I got major concerns about you. And frankly, if you can't win one of those two, you probably don't want the Cowboys in the playoffs anyway because you probably just want to fire Jason Garrett at that point. All right, the Eagles now coming off a massive win over the Rams, a season-saving win for Philadelphia. They have a tough game left, though, against the Houston Texans and then on the road against a very banged-up Washington team. I'll be honest, I did not think Philly was going to beat the Rams. A big upset there. They're not that big of an underdog against the Texans this week. In fact, they're actually favored. The Redskins, meanwhile, at the Titans, a Titans team that is playing for their own playoff lives. So we'll see how that ends up going. I lean more towards Tennessee. Either way, I'll be honest, I'm not even worried about the, the, the Redskins. I don't think they're very good because they're so banged up. Yeah, they beat the Jags. They also got obliterated by the Washington Redskins. So I'm not putting much faith there in the Redskins. Now, let's focus on this current matchup, Week 16. The Cowboys are seven and a half point favorites. They are at home. They are playing against a Bucks team that is already out of the playoff race. This should be a very simple Week 16 ending. The Cowboys beat the Bucks. They secure a playoff spot, and then they go focus on other things. And producer Brett Scott and I actually similar outlooks this week for in terms of predictions. I got the Cowboys winning 27 to 17. He's got them winning 24 14. The Bucks defense is not very good. Dirk Cutter is gonna get fired. The Bucs are out of the playoff race now. This should be a team that the Cowboys have little trouble manhandling. I have every expectation that this week the Cowboys pick up a win. But we'll also take a look now at the other NFC East teams and what they have going on this week. We'll start things off with the Redskins and the Titans. The Titans are playing for their playoff lives, and also so are the Washington Redskins. Now, they actually play on Saturday, by the way, NFL Network. So if you have nothing else going on, why not watch this game and cheer for the Titans Great defense for Tennessee. Not so much on the offense. But actually, not that similar in terms of offenses here. I got the Titans in this one. The over-under is only 37. 
there's going to be no points scored in this game because neither offense is that good. The Titans, I think, have a better one. I got them winning this one, which in reality takes Redskins out of the NFC East race and puts a big blow on them for their NFC wildcard hopes. The intriguing one, though, is the Texans at the Eagles, where the Eagles, fresh off that massive win over the Rams, are actually the favorites. Minus 1.5 in that one. That game worries me. I did not think that the Eagles are going to beat the Rams. And I'll be honest, although it's very unlikely, no matter what scenario it is, I really, really don't want to play the Eagles in the playoffs. There is a lot that can go wrong, and beating the same team three times is very, very difficult. So again, even though I know some Cowboys fans won't like it, cheer for the Texans on the road at 1 p.m. Eastern on Sunday. All right, folks, subscribe to our Cowboys Report YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Dallas Cowboys Report. We've got news and rumors and highlights and some special fan-led content that goes up first on that channel. It's youtube.com slash Dallas Cowboys Report. Now, while the Cowboys are officially out of the running for a bye because of their loss to the Colts, there is still a scenario in which Dallas gets the number three seed in the NFC. The issue is they need quite a bit of help. They need the Cowboys... The Cowboys need to beat the Bucks and Giants, which is doable, if not outright likely. They also, however, need the Bears to lose to the 49ers and lose to the Minnesota Vikings. Although, although the Niners are now not tanking and have won two in a row, that's a pretty tough task. And the Vikings, that one's maybe doable if the Bears have already clinched. But again, I don't think you'll see the Bears lose both those games. Now you see that uh, the conference uh, game percentage there. That's the tiebreakers. Here's how things break down. Head-to-head, -head, which does not matter for Cowboys Bears. Next up is the number of conference games in your win-loss tie percentage. The Cowboys would win that one if they went out and the Bears lose out. Again, that's not the most likely outcome. Beyond that, you're looking at common games percentages, strength of victory, strength of schedule for teams that aren't in the same division, which is really only the Bears right now. So, yes, I'm saying there's a chance the Cowboys can get the, the number three seed, but it doesn't seem very likely. You kind of need the Bears to lose against the Packers to give yourself a little bit more buffer room. Even though the Bears have clinched, I have a tough time seeing them collapsing down the stretch. Now, they do go on the road against the Niners, where they're only four-point favorites. That's the nature of being on the road. The Niners have played well as of late. I have a tough time seeing them laying or upsetting the Bears. Give me Chicago in that one, maybe even by more than just the four points. And after that, you do go on to face the Vikings. That's a game that they can lose and actually might lose. But I think they lose because they've already clinched everything they can against the 49ers. So don't get your hopes up there for the Bears securing that number, or the Cowboys securing that number three seed. I don't think the Bears are going to collapse quite enough down the stretch. Now, what will be the Cowboys' record this year? I know some of you thought 11-5. and five. That is now at the window with a loss to the Colts. Is it 10-6, and six, which was my original prediction at the start of the year, which I can't take credit for because... This is not how I thought the year was going to go. I don't think it's how any of us thought the year was going to go. Maybe 9-7 and seven is a bit more reasonable. If you beat the Bucks, the Bears also win, and you sit the starters in Week 17 against the Giants and get the double whammy of losing that game and convincing the Giants to keep Eli Manning as their quarterback. All right, folks, today's show is brought to you by BetDSI, the Internet's number one sports. We've got a special deal for you with BetDSI. Head to chatsports.com slash bet. It'll take you right to the sign-up page. Then deposit using promo code COWBOYS120, and you'll get yourself a 120% deposit bonus. And after you, you do that, DM us on Twitter, at Chatsports, we'll get you guys hooked up with some awesome-looking Cowboys shoes or a Cowboys jersey as well. It's the best deal out there this holiday season. Chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code COWBOYS120. Gets you that 120% deposit bonus. Put down 50 bucks. They're going to give you 60. Put down 100. They're going to give you 120. Put down 500. They'll give you 600 extra bucks to bet with. And then DM us on Twitter at Chatsports. Get you those awesome Cowboys shoes or a Cowboys jersey as well. Again, but you got to DM us on Twitter at Chatsports. Otherwise, well, how else are we going to know that you guys want that awesome deal? All right. Now, there is a outlandish maybe is the way to go about it scenario where the Cowboys can lose out and get a wild card berth. It's like 1%. We'll we explore all the scenarios here, so we'll break it down. A, you lose out, which means that the Eagles or Redskins win the division. That's the simplest route, but that's not the wild card scenario here. You need the Panthers lose either the Atlanta Falcons or the New Orleans Saints, which I think will happen. I think that's a very good chance that that does go down. 
The complicated part is you need the Vikings lose to both the Lions and the Bears. Minnesota, I just don't see them dropping their last two games. In that scenario, I think the Cowboys will end up being okay, or won't get that scenario, but it doesn't matter. I think they'll find a way to win the NFCs because if they don't, if they can't beat the Bucks or the Giants, man, fire everyone at that point. Now, one last question here for you guys. Will the Cowboys win a playoff game? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I think the still most likely scenario is the Cowboys host the Seattle Seahawks at home in the wild card round. And as long as they don't look just god awful the next two games, I'm going to pick the Cowboys in that one, and of course, barring injuries as well. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hey, Cowboys fans, thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.